a nuclear war from the past. Einstein once said that ancient experiments have been done once again. Old knowledge has been rediscovered, he said. Description of a nuclear war that took place thousands of years ago. An iron lightning fell from the sky to the earth. The bodies were burned and no one could recognize them. Hair and fingernails fell from the bodies. The birds turned white. A few hours later, all the food was contaminated. To escape this fire, the soldiers fell into the rivers with their clothes and weapons. A hot wind started blowing. They covered the destruction with a deadly dust. The earth was in the vast sea boiled and a hot breath enveloped them. And as the flame rose into the sky, brave as they were, they were blinded. They were blinded by the white light from the lightning flash. Heat unprecedented, fire poured everywhere. And what the eye saw and what the ears heard, it was as if heaven and earth had joined together. The universe was enveloped in such a heat as if it were sick with a high fever. The elephants and other animals of war were struck down by force of the, the weapon. The waters became so hot that whatever lived in them caught fire, according to Nexus magazine. Source 1 is from Hesiod's Theogony, describing a nuclear war that took place in the past. And Source 2 is India Bible Mahaparata. The conclusion is yours to make. Excerpts from Plutarch's book Lef Kolos from the Parallel Lives and occurred during the Third Mithridatic War that's about 74 to 66 BC. Translation from Modern Greek. While they were already marching towards the collision, without any apparent change taking place, the wind opened and a great body like a flame was seen rushing down, very much like a jar in shape and of incandescent silver in color, and the two armies, frightened by the vision, withdrew. So they say that this happened in Pyrgia, near the so-called Otria. The ancient Greeks used concrete impervious to radioactivity. We see this in the uh, palace in uh, Knossos of Heraclean Crete. So obviously they would have impervious concrete to radiation because they wanted to protect from radiation. So the ancient Greeks used concrete impervious to radiation. So they knew about radioactivity and used methods for protection, which after thousands of years scientists began to use, according to a statement by Martha Goodway, physical chemist, metallurgist, and uh, archaeologist from the Smithsonian in 1992. At a conference in Boston, the mortar used to make the coating of the Lavrion tanks is impervious to radioactivity. In the area of Babylon, if I'm not mistaken, this drawing found showing that the left, uh, on the left a bomb and at the right an explosion of the bomb that created the nuclear mushroom. So this happened about 2,000 years ago. So who had the atomic weapon 2,000 years ago? That's the question. Now, when the excavations of Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro in Pakistan took place, they discovered thousands of skeletons, which are among the most radioactive ever found, on the same level of measurement as those of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In the area of Rajasthan, India, where work was being done to build a large housing complex, high levels of radioactivity were detected. Scientific research and archaeological digging have finally provided the answer by excavating an ancient city in which the signs of an atomic disaster that took place there 8,000 to 12,000 years ago are evident, destroying most of the buildings and killing about half a million people. The consequences of the nuclear war on man Russia has 6,255 nukes. United States of America has 5,500 nuclear weapons. There are more than 13,500 nuclear weapons around the world right now. Scenario of a limited scale nuclear war today? Official today, if a nuclear war were to happen today, there would be chain consequences, global famine, deadly frosts, global ozone losses of up to 50%, the use of 100 nuclear warheads would mean the release of 5 megatons of black carbon into the atmosphere with immediate lethal consequences for humans, and those who survived would be at risk from the rain of black carbon while the Earth's temperature would begin to drop. 20-year horizon, in the year that 
nuclear war would break out for up to the first few months, five megatons of black carbon would be released into the atmosphere of uh, ab absorbing sunlight and being uh, begin to freeze the planet. The rain of black carbon would kill millions of people and animals. During the first year, the average temperature of the Earth's surface would drop by one degree Celsius. During the second year, the cultivation period would be reduced by 10 to 40 days. Three years later, during the fifth year of nuclear war, the, the Earth would be on average one and a half degrees Celsius colder than it is today, colder than it has been in the last 1,000 years. Participate, precipitation would decrease by 9%. Ozone would be 25% thinner, increasing UV rays reaching the Earth. In 10 years, ozone would return marginally to levels 8% below today. In 20 years, the planet would become slightly warmer by 0 0.5 degrees Celsius below today's temperature, and it would take a full 26 years for the rain to increase and as many to restore crops. World leaders know the consequences of a nuclear war. They know that they can destroy the enemy, but they will not be able to exploit the wealth of this country for many decades. So why would they do that? Because they want to reduce world population. Uh, Saint Sophia of Klisurev said, the Virgin Mary told me that those things that are in the holy books of my sons, chosen ones, are all coming in order to be done. A third world war will take place Three quarters of humanity will be destroyed. That's that's a terrible prophecy, obviously. This I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.